been a few months. It's been since May, when I graduated college that I posted to youtube.com. This fan is blowing right now, and I hope that you can deal with it because I refuse to deal with sweating in my bedroom right now. I did it, I moved to Los Angeles in May. Also in May, I posted on Instagram for people to ask me questions about college and going to college in Alabama, going to film school in Alabama, getting a film degree in Alabama. So I guess I'll answer them now, four months later. May, June, July, August. Yeah, literally four months, uh, three months later. But before I do that, I wanna give you some little updates about what my life is. I live in Los Angeles with two of my best friends that also went to college with me, Tori and Anna. We all live together in an apartment. Drove out here with my dad, May 27th-ish is when we got here. I got food poisoning the day I arrived in LA, which is fantastic. Um, I then the next day went to an interview and I got the job. So I worked for America's Funniest Videos for a few months. I worked as an editor, which was very cool for their digital stuff. Very exciting first job, first full-time job. Pretty recently I was approached by Mythical and now I work at Mythical again where I interned last summer. And honestly, I'm living my dream, baby. The reason why I'm interested in entertainment, entertainment is because of YouTube. Sounds crazy to a lot of people that I am not pursuing film television dreams, but I love YouTube and I love internet stuff and it's why I'm here and it's the kind of stuff I want to make. I love the freedom that comes with it. It's very cool to be working for respectable OG YouTube folk. Like that's what I care most about. Um, and I can't believe I'm here and I can't believe I'm doing it. And I. I care about the work. As far as goals go, right now I'm working as an assistant editor, which is very fun and cool, and I've learned a ton in the short time I've been working at Mythical. I have no dang idea what the future holds, honestly. I feel like a little baby um, in terms of my career, but I feel like I, I achieved where I wanted to be, and so now I'm looking around like, okay. I'm so happy where I am right now, so in terms of thinking about my next step, I'm still kind of ruminating. I'm interested in producing. You guys know I love editing, so I don't know if I'm interested in being a full-time editor and having editing being my only gig. I think I definitely want to produce a lot, but I feel like I'm in the correct arena, and I'm just so happy. I'm so excited, and I feel like if anything on social media, I've been kind of downplaying my excitement because I don't want to seem like a complete nerd. But the truth is that I'm very excited and my life feels a little bit surreal right now. Go for your dreams, children, because they're real. So now on to the questions that some of you, basically just my friends, asked me on Instagram in May. My friend Cheyenne asked, do you wish you had gone to a different school in terms of education quality? In terms of education quality. I love Auburn. My whole family went to Auburn. Auburn is home. More home than any of my homes actually are, my real homes. So I don't regret going to Auburn whatsoever. In terms of education quality, in terms of my specific degree, which was visual media studies, there's definitely a lot of growth that needs to happen within that program in terms of resources. Halfway through college, um, they rolled out this Adobe student program where you could get the Adobe Creative Cloud for free if you were a student, which is great. But it's nuts that that happened only, what, like two years ago? One year ago? Um, in terms of equipment, we don't have a bunch. Most of what I learned, no shade to my teachers, because you guys are great teachers, but most of what I learned was from YouTube <laughs> tutorials and my internships which i really ran after like i did three internships in college i learned the most from those specific experiences i interned at coca-cola if you'll remember like my sophomore year i interned at mythical last summer and then freshman year i did an, an, a, a tiny internship at opelika and that helped me learn more about cameras so my internships have been extremely impactful i would say more than my classwork 
20. I kind of answered Andy's question. Andy said, what percent of your classes were actually relevant to your career goals? How necessary is a degree? Like I said, I learned a few things in class. Learned a bit about cameras, learned a bit about editing. Beyond that, industry, nothing. Didn't learn a single thing about the industry. I wouldn't have been able to get my internships if I wasn't enrolled in college. So I think college was pretty necessary for me. It also gave me the time to kind of mature and figure out what I wanted to do in life and what excited me and what fulfilled me. And if I had tried to jump into a career immediately out of high school, I feel like I would have floundered a bit. How necessary is a degree? In all of the jobs that I applied for, they called for bachelor's degree. I applied for assistant roles, mailroom roles, um, assistant editor roles, editor roles, all of them called for bachelor's degree. Unfortunately, um, because college is expensive, and even when I say that like specifically in my classes, I didn't learn the most from my classes, I learned from outside experiences. It was just simply the fact that I was enrolled in college that got me where I needed to be. Annabelle wanted to know whether I had ever failed a class or had a bad semester. In terms of grades, I actually got pretty good grades. Our media studies degree was not rigorous or difficult, um, especially because it's like what I wanted to be doing. I was doing projects like on my own. I didn't need a teacher to tell me to do a project. Like I was excited to do projects because I wanted to make videos. And my worst subjects are math and science and I only had to take like one entry level math and science class. So I didn't make bad grades for that reason. Emotionally, I had bad semesters. <laughs> I had breakups, I had self-esteem, sadness. I felt lonely at times. Love when my camera turns off out of the blue. Okay, most unexpectedly difficult thing about college was loneliness. Feeling, you know, on your own for the first time in your life, desiring that friend group. And I would say those four years four plus or less than four years, depending on who you are, is a time in your life when you change so dramatically and sometimes you get whiplash because going from teenhood to semi-adulthood is quite the journey. And you're doing it alone. You're not living with your parents, um, usually in most cases, so. Loneliness. Did I say Jasmine asked these questions? Jasmine asked me like eight questions. Six questions. Love you, Jasmine. Jasmine also asked, uh, what was my biggest lesson that I learned outside of my classes? And I could give an abstract answer, but I kind of want to give a concrete answer because right off the top of my head, the things that have helped me specifically in my career field, and I'm sure this could go on to cover other career fields. Something that I learned from my internships and my experiences in a workplace, Ask a million questions. If you have a question, ask it. Um, that's a mark of a good employee, not a bad one. And take notes, because no one wants to be asked the same question over and over again. So if you're being taught something, take tons of notes. She also asked, what would I say to a freshman pursuing my degree? Do your own projects. So make stuff as much as you can. Uh, make whatever you want. Really, if you're not working on projects outside of your coursework, I think that's something that you should be doing. And I don't like to use should, typically, because everybody is different. But I don't think that you're going to learn all the things that you need to learn to progress in your career just from the course, course, coursework. coursework. I think you need to be working on your own projects that you're passionate about. They don't have to be big ones. You can make YouTube videos. Just make anything that interests you. Make things for yourself. You don't have to post everything you make. Not every project has to be a big elaborate project. You can just set up a camera in your room, which is what most of most of my learning has come from that. <laughs> so that was just a little update video, a little Q&A video that I said I would do and then didn't do and then finally did. I wanna continue making videos, whatever they may be. I just don't have a ton of time. I just love YouTube as an outlet because it's a little bit more far removed than Instagram. I feel like Instagram is like extremely public and accessible to everyone. And I feel like what I put on YouTube is more 
private and authentic. And I don't know why, because it's definitely mm, as public as Instagram, but I, I, I like the long form format of YouTube. The people who really care and will stick around are the ones who end up watching my videos. So thank you for that. Thank you for watching this one. Please, please uh, say nice things to me or not. And I'll talk to you later. Love you, bye. Also follow my Instagram because I post more on there about my daily things. Thanks, love you.